Hillary Clinton wants to abolish the Second Amendment. She wants to abolish it. Okay. Hillary Clinton wants to take your guns away and she wants to abolish the Second Amendment. She wants to take the bullets away. She wants to take it. You tell me that's something we can live with. We're going to cherish the Second Amendment. We're going to take care of the Second Amendment. I don't see uh, Donald Trump having any kind of coherent foreign policy or theory of national security. He kind of makes statements that uh, I find uh, concerning, whether it's about nuclear uh, weapons or torture or anything else. So I think the burden is really on him to try to make a case why, when you've had 70 years of American policy under both Republicans and Democrats trying to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons, he is so cavalier, even reckless and dangerous. On foreign policy, Hillary is trigger happy. She is. She's trigger happy. She's got a bad temperament. By the way, and her husband learned that a few times, didn't he? <laughs> but she's trigger happy. You look what she did. And look at this. I just wrote this down. Iraq. Libya. She voted. Iraq. Let's go into Iraq. I'm not going to run an ugly race. I am going to run a race based on issues and what my agenda is for the American people. I don't really feel like I'm running against Donald Trump. I feel like I'm running for my vision of what our country can be. Wow, what a contrast. Well done on her part. What a contrast, Mark Halpern. You, if you're Hillary Clinton's camp, you can't hope for a better contrast than those clips of Donald Trump all weekend shouting. Like, like, like again, like he's running against uh, Ben Carson in South Carolina right. in August. It's the, 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 I like, like, is there nobody around Donald Trump that's, that can those, say, hey, Donald, that's that's it. It. the primary is over. White male voters voted for you. Supposed to pivot, Would you like to win spin. the general election? Or are you going to keep talking like it's August of 2015? Who is around this guy that can tell him that? Those clips represent what Mike suggested. We're in a different phase now. The Clinton campaign is locked and loaded. They know exactly what they want to do week to week, month to month, practically. Wait, you said we're they in a know. different phase. Donald's not in a different phase. No, I'm phase. saying he's not reacting. Donald's to exactly where Donald was. Reacting. I mean, you know, he did some, he, he changed his positions on minimum wage and taxes. Right, right. But even that I is, do like was that. executed in kind of a sloppy way. This guy and his team have a to-do list of a 10,001 elements on and, it. And, 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 and they're and, doing nothing. By the way, by the way, it's like it's like they've got all of this political nuclear waste out there. This is the time they're supposed right. to be cleaning it up. Right. No, he's going out creating more waste. They're deciding exactly. to go to the Chernobyl of yes. Capitol Hill and like like pick a fight with the Speaker of the House and spend this entire week, uh, weekend, talking about Bill Clinton's affairs in the 1990s, instead of actually doing cleanup operations, being quiet, showing that you're a steady hand, it, stilling it, the political waters around you, starting to plan on winning the general election. If Trump loses or gets blown out, the next three weeks or so is going to be looked at as history where they didn't react to the fact that they have 10,001 things to do and they're not doing them nearly fast enough because they're being, as you said, they're creating new problems for themselves. New problems, rather than solving new wars. All the many problems is, they need to this solve. This is exactly what I said after Iowa. He was freaking out after, oh, after Iowa. And I said if he didn't focus on New Hampshire that was in front of him, he was going to lose it and lose everything. He turned it around. But right now, he's wildly out of control. And I wonder if he thought, hey, everybody. This is the mistake, by the way, every politician makes. Barack Obama made it. Every president that walks in that people didn't think was going to win, they go, well, everybody was against me from the beginning. And everybody said that I couldn't win from the beginning. So now I'm not going to listen to anything anybody says because I'm powerful and mighty. I'm smarter than everybody else in the world. And he's going around and he's just doing the stupidest things if he wants to win the general election. Well, to Joe's point, uh, what we've seen for the past several months is basically an intra-squad scrimmage compared to playing in the World Series. Yeah. Hillary Clinton is now playing in the World Series. Donald Trump clearly is not. But again, to Joe's point, who, who around Donald Trump is advising him that he would listen to? Or is it still all Donald all the time? Is his, it? his kids and Paul Manafort. He'll listen to them. But, Look what we had this weekend. Are, they're just, they're are they just, suggesting that, hey, that's great. Just, that was a great weekend. There's too much for them to do. By the way, his kids and Paul Manafort, I mean, they, I haven't talked to him this weekend. They didn't want him to do that this weekend. 
I don't think they were, I think they were probably 3,000 miles away from where he was. This guy, this guy, this guy was on his own this weekend. They, 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 they could be losing the election right now. They are, they, if he doesn't get his, you know what, together over the next three weeks, he's going to lose the election. Yeah. And he won't be able to turn it around. Yeah. And this is something, by the way, Gene Robinson, we said last week, and we, we said it before he started doing all this stuff. He's got a very short window to turn yeah. the ship around or all will be lost. You ever see the Robert Redford movie, <laughs> All is yeah. Lost? He's yeah. going to be writing that note and throwing it out into the water pretty soon. Well, it, yeah, that's entirely possible, Joe. I mean, look, look he, he managed also this week, and Andrea mentioned it, to say, to say what, you know, it's hard to use superlatives. Could be the most irresponsible thing said so far in this whole campaign, which is what he said about the debt. The debt that, is, that the United you know, States we, is not going to pay its we'll debt just, obligations. We'll just pay him, you know, it's a, certain, a certain amount on the dollar, right, uh, which is exactly uh, we want to be greased. I mean, the, the United States as, as the most reliable place to, to put your money, that's, uh, that's an essential truth about uh, today's world. Uh, that has to be maintained uh, or we, you know, or the yeah. country potentially goes down the tube. It's, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. It was an unbelievable thing to say. Uh, and um, uh, as far as I know, he hasn't taken it back or he hasn't, he hasn't <laughs> corrected it, but you can just imagine uh, the impact of that on a general to show you, Mika, how ham-fisted his statement was on Paul Ryan this week, and think about it this way. Right now, Donald Trump's trying to bring the party together. Mm -hmm. He needs endorsements. From It would be good for him to have endorsements in the party. But if you are now a member of the House of Representatives who is moving towards endorsing Donald Trump, if you were a chair, chairman, chairperson, somebody that ever wanted to be a chairperson, chairman, somebody that ever wanted to have power in the House of Representatives, Donald Trump's just frozen you because he's insulted your speaker and you're not going to do blank for Donald Trump. I'll let people at home fill in, fill in the blanks for him. It was such a short-sighted, ham-fisted move. You know, he, Donald can't get what Donald wants the second Donald wants it. It doesn't work that way. And because he didn't let it play out with, with Paul Ryan, now, nobody in the House is going to come out and support him. I still think that... He's got to clean that up. They can do it in the meeting, and they plan to. Well, and, he, and he's got uh, one of his principal surrogates, Sarah Palin, out there saying... Yeah, that uh, needs Paul to Ryan stop. ...is going to be cantered. That Paul yeah. Ryan is going to lose his... Oh, that, that's really good. That Goodness. is... Uh, that's yeah. really helpful. I would say yeah. lose the Palin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a little advice Ooh. from someone who might know. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.